Hi everyone, this is a short video about this uh, PIR under cabinet rechargeable uh, LED light that it comes uh, with the unit itself, with the instruction manual and the magnet uh, strip, uh, metal strip for installing it wherever that you can and the cable for charging this unit but the cable is too short but um, we have loads of these micro USB U2 USB cables at home so we can use them this item it comes in different uh, combinations this is the maximum one that it comes with 160 LEDs at 39 centimeters and then 120 LEDs at uh, 30 centimeters and then uh, 80 LEDs that it comes in 24 centimeters and the prices from the bottom is uh, varies from 14 pounds 50 pence and this one is under 17 pounds 50 pence or cent or whatever that you call it in your country and there are two magnets in there that is going to attract this piece that you install it it has double uh, sided adhesive that you can put this at the back of this and peel off and then uh, somehow straight put it on the wall and then that's it for charging it you just uh, take it off the magnet and then when it's charged just put it back on it's really easy and it comes with the instruction manual I put you put in front of you the instruction manual it comes in different languages and this is the English if you want I hold it here you can read it That's it. I, I, I explain everything in detail and it came in a protective uh, plastic for uh, avoiding any scratches to the unit and this is the box that it came in with no logos or whatever. So this is just supposed to be a short video and it has all the capability that it has is uh, with a PIR sensor uh, daytime and nighttime and the nighttime is when you, it, it, it cannot detect any light as soon as sees your hand is turning on and if the light is on it doesn't come on and if you want it to come on you have to put it in the daytime so first you just turn it on by holding the s2 for two seconds it just comes on and if you press it once the red is the all day light or daytime uh, pir is active and if anything moves in front of it it just comes on and if you press it once is the night time that is green that means if the light is on in front of it, no matter how you, or whatever moves in front of the PIR, it doesn't come on. And if I turn the light off and move my hand over it, it just comes on. But when is uh, on the daytime, like so, when the red is blinking, no matter if it's uh, day or night, whatever it moves in front of it, it comes on. So I normally I put it on the green to save the battery uh, that if it sees some lights, it doesn't come on. But it has more options as this is the micro USB for recharging it and the battery inside. It says 1800 milliamp. I open this and I show you later on and this one s1 if you press it once it goes all to the uh, cool white and if you press it again 
the center rows of LED is coming on in warm white and if you press it again is both of them together and if you press and hold it it's going to the dimmer this is the maximum brightness and if you press and hold it this is the lowest dimming position and uh, situation and you can see the all the LEDs in there you can count it if you like <laughs> by pausing it and that's really it now I turn it off and I show you the inside by holding this for more than two seconds the S2 the light is going off and this is the inside if you can see this is the LED strip and this is the um, PIR with the cap on and then this is the diffuser and it has three magnets in there and that is the battery I show you the battery in a larger image this is the PIR sensor and all the components let me just maximize it for you to see and then at the back of it Oh, and this is the battery. Nothing has uh, written on the on this side. Maybe it's at the back, but it was glued really uh, securely in there. I couldn't otherwise. Is I, I would have uh, bent this uh, battery. That's why I just didn't take the battery off to show you. And this is the back of the board that you can see and the last image is just again the PIR sensor and the other stuff that you can see here anyhow I fully recommend this item because uh, the battery inside of, um, of course I uh, would have liked the battery to be larger but the one thing that is going to make this attractive is the day and night sensor that the at night center sensor is going to save lots of battery anyhow I fully recommend this item for the price and the quality of the item and the number of LEDs and it says that the uh, uh, life of this light is about 80,000 cycles of uh, turning on and off and the battery I don't think is going to last that long but still you can buy the battery and you know uh, if you know how you can change the battery but it's going to be more expensive anyhow anyway this is a very useful um, device i fully recommend this until my next video take care of yourself and each other and as always have a great time